Hello. Yesterday I came here to the Domaine de Kurge Henek. It's a beautiful house in the French countryside, about 20 minutes away from our French house. And it's the home of modern art pieces, both inside and outside in the grounds. There aren't any in the front garden, but the flowers are beautiful. This gate is a new piece since I was last here and I absolutely love it. Back home I decided to do a picture based on a photo I took while I was there in my new A4 size sketchbook. First though I wanted to sort out the watercolour markers that I brought with me to France. I've got a few from a couple of different brands and needed a swatch of them. So I thought I might as well show you that as well. I'm doing a voiceover for all of this video because there was a very exciting tournament going on in the background between my husband and a couple of my boys on the mini snooker table that we've got in the same room. It got pretty noisy at times. So here are all the Windsor & Newton watercolour markers that I've got with me. And then I also swatch a few Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura watercolour markers and Ecoline watercolour markers. Then I started my picture. My plan was to have a watercolour undercoat and then add some watercolour markers and pencil. I'm doing this in Italian's art creation sketchbook so it's not watercolour paper and it will wrinkle up but I just find it really relaxing nice paper to work on. I start by filling in the main colour areas in a very loose way. I've used Roman Schmoll paints so far. The Hooker's Green, the Aquarius Green, the Olive Green Light, Deep Green Gold, Perylene Green, Malachite, um, some Aquarius Grey, Goethite, Cypress Burnt Umber, and some Cobalt Cerulean Blue for the sky. Next I come in with watercolour markers.
At this point I'm not really liking the house so I blank it out with titanium white watercolour paint and try and figure out what to do with it later. And once that's dry, I come in with coloured pencil. I'm using a mixture of Caran d'Ache Luminance and Dermot Lightfast pencils. I decide to leave it there. I'm not particularly happy with how the house turned out, but I really enjoy doing the undergrowth and the path and greenery. I think I'm going to really enjoy working at this size as well. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all of your kind comments and support that you give me. Hopefully see you soon. Bye!